Hey guys, how's it going today? Uh, I'm here to give you a comparison of the Toy Shock Digital Pinball. And you're going to have to excuse this uh, music. Uh, there's no way for me to, to stop it. But um, I'm here to give you, an, give you a comparison of the Toy Shock Digital Pinball Machine. That's all the rage right now. That's... Um, you can pre-order it from Walmart as of today for um, $399. And um, I'm just here to give you a measurement comparison compared to my uh, virtual pen right here. It's, uh, I'll show you. dimensions right here. I'm going to read them off to you. It's uh, <clears throat> 31 and a half inches from floor to play field. 50.5 inches from the floor to the top of the, the head. It's uh, let's see. 23 and a half inches wide. Okay. So let me see if I can disconnect this. Give you a better. Okay, so it's 23 and a half inches wide. And I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure my. Okay. Wow, mine is only 15 and a half inches wide. And the Toy Shock pinball is 23 and a half inches wide. Okay, so that's no, oh, that's not bad. I didn't think uh mine was that narrow, but it is. Okay. And it's Let's see. 31 and a half inches from floor to the play field. Slightly higher than my table that my virtual pad is sitting on. 31 and a half. So it puts it right there. Okay. And by comparison. And it looks to be about 38 inches. Okay. So the toy sock is 31 and a half. Okay. It might need a riser, actually. That's pretty low. Okay. Wow, okay. And it's 50 inches high from the floor to the head. Fifteen and a half inches. Let's see. Let me make sure I got that right. Yep. Fifteen and a half. From the floor. It's a little bit lower 
than my the height is not I wouldn't be the overall height wouldn't be uh, that big of a concern for me uh, let's see it's a little cumbersome trying to measure all this stuff while holding the phone okay mine is approximately 56 from the floor to the top of the to the head and theirs is 50 and a half Yeah, it looks like it may need some kind of a riser or something. I mean, the width, the width is beautiful. Uh, even though it's a lot of bezel. Um, I think it's a 24-inch monitor. I'm not sure exactly how wide it is, but it may actually be the same width as, as mine. Just a bezel that makes you know that widens it out. Yeah, so it's uh, let's see, twenty-three and a half. Let's look at that again. Mine is 15 and a half, and the toy socket's 23 and a half. That's pretty wide. It's pretty wide, actually. But like I said, it's the bezel that looks like it widens it out a few inches. So that's uh, that's just a quick comparison. Uh, let's see. I don't see an actual, oh, there it is, 35.5, 35.5 inches deep. Let's look at that. Mine is approximately 29, and the toy sock is 35 and a half. Okay. Mine is about twenty-eight. So it's about five and a half inches deeper than my virtual pin here. So overall, the width, the depth, and overall height is is pretty is okay. It's just the uh, the height from the floor to the to the uh, to the play field. That's that's gonna be a problem for. I mean, I know it's marketed towards kids, but I mean, 31 and a half inches. Mine, 
Mine is. Cause I, I stand up a lot of times. I sit down a lot of times, but I like to stand up too and play. I wonder if the Toy Shock uh, Haunted House is going to have this attract sound every 10 seconds. Uh, let's see. Mine is about 38 inches high, and this is, and the Toy Shock is 31 and a half. Ooh. It's way down there. You definitely have to sit down and play it. Play it. Um, my table is about 28 and a half. And that is 31 and a half. Yeah, it's very low. But there it is. I just tried to give you a... Um, the best way I could try to give you a comparison of my tabletop virtual pen and the toy sock pen that's coming out. Coming out for Walmart and it's going to be about three, 